if you can see these two two dots or dimples there and then if you angle the camera angle yourself down you see a little bit of a faint resemblance or um, outline but it's so faint that you, you question even what you're thinking it takes you a day or two to, to sort of see what the what you're looking at and then it'll start to pop out so I have two eyes here but again those two dots are pretty telltale where they were packed My name is Sven Hawkinson. I'm the executive director of the Aleutic Museum, uh, born and raised here in Kodiak Island. And we're at the southern end of Kodiak at Cape Alatak. We're working on a project that's been documenting and trying to record petroglyphs that have been made anywhere from 1,500 years to 250 years ago. So when we first came out here, um, the Aleutic Museum logo had all of this black. And then we did the rubbings and when I was looking at it, I was like, oh my God. It's like, wait a minute, our logo is not designed right. And so immediately we put that hole in the hand. And from Yupik myths, um, this, the hole in the hand is uh, the Sedna, the spirit goddess, where she comes and takes all the animal spirits, but she has a hole in her hand, allowing enough animal spirits to pass through so humans can survive. Me, my own personal interpretation is don't take more than what you need so you can have stuff for your future. And then you've got the thumb, and then the four fingers, and then the hole, that centerpiece there, going down with the elbow, neck. You got the, the mouth, nose, eyes. Part of our ancestors made these. It's, it's something that, I don't know, I mean, it's like when you see them, you're like, wow, this is really cool, because it goes thousands of years um, that you have this artwork surviving. You know, you. You, you have a Rembrandt or Picasso, and this is, this is our Picassos, this is our Rembrandts. Um, you know, it's like you see these and you're like, they're an inspiration. This is the largest conglomeration of petroglyphs on Kodiak. And so if people, had, people had to come here to see them, because we don't find them anywhere else. So I love this one because you see the spiral going here? When I was doing the rubbing, everybody focuses on just that. Here's these eyes. He's got his eyes and his mouth. It's a different petroglyph. A, that's the only one of its kind. There's another spiral over here, but this one here is the only one that shows that spiral, and then he's got his eyes up there. It has nothing to do with these two up here. I'm working with Joe Lipka, and we've been uh, mapping out and documenting the petroglyphs and this is a project I've been working on personally for 10 years looking at trying to understand the petroglyphs but also document as much as possible before they're lost. I'm making it so that somebody else could come back here and figure out what we were looking at in the same locations. Getting the slope on the page um, and my work is different from Spence. He's doing glyph by glyph. I'm trying to find points of reference then we'll come back and we'll actually do measurements on this slope. These have been inspiring a lot of Aleutic artists and non-native artists in Kodiak. You know, these are some of the things that unify all of us as people, because it's art across the ages and across generations and people. This is, as you can see, exposed to the ocean. You've got barnacles, you've got kelp growing on them. And so it's something that you know, through time and over the next 10 years, I'll keep documenting them and learn more. Every year I come, I've learned more. I don't know how to explain it, we call him the Martian Man. He looks like something, kind of like a Martian with antennas coming out, but I think it's like a sea urchin. But this guy here is really fun because he's got three antennas and then coming down with stuff here. And then inside he's got, what, two, four, six, seven, seven dots. It's all up to interpretation. 
is I wanted to just get a really good idea of what was on this rock face here and this one here. Our last year, I was here with Mitch Simeonov and Nadia Chikinsky, and we found 113 new petroglyphs that we no one had ever documented before uh, on another beach over on the other side. This year, we found at least, what, 16 new ones that no one had ever seen before. And so it's pretty cool that every year we come out, the more I see, the more I'm able to learn and actually see more petroglyphs than I had originally thought. Here in Cape Alatec, there's something special about this place. It's a very calming place to come to. And whether they were wailing, trying to share a story, it's one of those mysteries that we'll ponder forever, I think. You might see something and then, then it's gone, you know, like what was here, or is it natural? That's the other frustrating part too, is a lot of times you look at something, you're like, oh, and then you come back and you're like, what was I thinking? Um, you know, you, you think that there would be something here because you feel that, you can see where the eyes were, but everything else is gone. Uh, then on, you know, and this is the one of the most exposed parts of the rock to the ocean. You don't see any petroglyphs, but you know that they were probably there. Oh, 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 o